Hello everybody and welcome back. If you are new here, my name is Brittany and on this channel we talk all about plants and today is day two of decorating for fall. So today we are going to be decorating with some plants, talking a little bit about what we can do for our plants to prepare them for this new cooler season that is upcoming and we're going to find some really cute house decor to complement the plants. So if you are into plants and into decorating and into autumn, stick around and let's decorate for fall. So I did just go to the grocery store. We are having chicken tortilla soup for dinner and I needed to grab a couple of things. It is 90 degrees here in Wyoming. I don't know if it's cooling down where you are. Let us know what the temperature has been like the last week or so in your hometown. But at the grocery store, I did find the cutest little candle that I was like, I have to get it. So it is just, this little cream candle and it has these sweet little pumpkins in it and it says it is a dessert candle daily gratitude and it doesn't really say the scent but it's like vanilla pumpkin y so I just had to share that I thought that was darling and we will definitely be using it in our decor today so first things first, I do want to decorate this sweet little entryway. It obviously needs um, some cleaning, some tidying. Look who came to visit, Penny Girl. Hi. It needs some cleaning, it needs some tidying, but then I'm thinking that we can put some really cute little fall things up. And I do always keep some plants on this little table because the lighting in here, it's like a sunroom. It is out of control. So let's get this place all cleaned up and then see what we can find to add a little autumn touch. Okay, got a little wardrobe change, got out of my work clothes. Let's get this place cleaned and then um, pull that decor out. So I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe down all these surfaces, find a better place for some of these shoes and get this open space. I am like wiping this down. And if you have a shedding dog, you understand. I swear this girl just looks at this and then there's more hair all of a sudden, like wiping it. And then there's more hair there, I like wipe it off. If you guys have a shedding dog, please leave any tips down below. What are you doing? We brush her, we bathe her. She's so beautiful, but this girl is in shedding season and it's making me crazy. So our first fall plant care tip. As the days are getting shorter and our plants are being exposed to less sunlight, you wanna make sure that the sunlight they are getting is really quality. So making sure that your windows are cleaned off because even a light layer of dust can interfere with photosynthesis and allowing that sunlight through to the plant. The other thing is making sure that your leaves are dusted or cleaned so that again, that dust is not interfering with photosynthesis. We just wanna make sure the little bout of light that they are getting is doing what it needs to do. Okay, we got it all cleaned in here. The floors are cleaned, everything is dusted and wiped down. All the things that weren't supposed to be in this entryway have been put away. You know how things accumulate and the windows were cleaned with Windex. So let's get these plants put here because these are always the star of the show. For this season, I am going to be placing this beautiful Hoya Publicalix in the window. It is a showstopper. These dark green leaves are just such a vibe. So that is going to go right here. 
And the second plant that we are using for this season is going to be, of course, the beautiful Monstera Thai constellation. Please look at this newest leaf. It is so creamy, almost a half moon, and I am so eager to see what this next leaf is going to look like, if it's going to keep this very heavy variegation or if it's gonna be a little bit more constellation splattered like this one. Now, this tie is a Walmart tie and I have had nothing but good luck with it. There was a little bit of browning just on this little leaf right after I repotted, but since then, even this really creamy leaf has been here for over a month, two months maybe, and it has had no issues whatsoever. We're just slowly, eagerly waiting for the next leaf. So that is gonna go here as well. Beautiful. Now let's add some decor around these pieces so that we can bring in the fall leaf vibes. Okay, here is what this is looking like. We've got this beautiful guy. I love this sign in the entryway. Come in and cozy up. Of course, we had to add our new candle and a little pumpkin. And then here is that gorgeous Hoya. I think that turned out so cute and so inviting. And I love that the plants are the star of the show but you have those like fall colors, that warmth, that girliness. What do you guys think? Do you like it? Does it need more? Does it need less? I always keep this little basket down here, especially the season that's where we keep the gloves. In the summer, that's where we keep the sunscreen. The shoes are all organized and now I have all this space, but I don't think that I have enough to fill it. So I'm gonna put a few things that I do have here and you have to tell me what would you add to these shelves? So the first thing that I know that I wanna add, I love this little bowl and it's great for like dropping your keys into when you get home in this entryway. So I added just a couple, can you see it? of these little, catch it, of these little leather pumpkins that I think are just so cute and the color is so pretty. You can still drop your keys there. It's not like we're adding a bunch of stuff to this little bowl. So I'm gonna put those here. And then we do always keep the, the soul puri. It's like the poopery, but it's the soul puri for your uh, stinky shoes. This one says shoe plus foot funk fighting odor eliminator in the cedar wood eucalyptus. I would not recommend this scent. It's really strong, but I, we do like having this next to the door. And then I've got this little, because I like the light colors, the creams, I've got this little, it's like wooden textured um, lantern that would be really pretty lit up at night over here. So I'm going to add this as well. And then I think I need something big. Let me go see what I've got. All right. Do we like this? Do we feel like we need something bigger, like a bigger sign? I do want to go find a sign for the living room. So maybe I need something bigger there but I love that lit pumpkin in there. It gives this like glow off of all the surfaces. What do we think? Yes or no? So here's the whole entryway, you guys. Obviously this needs a little bit more. Like I said, help you girl out, but this, oh, I love it. All right, I think that that is about it. Obviously, we have a little more work to do. I'm not gonna do the bathroom today. I'm gonna do it tomorrow, so make sure you come back for that. But before we go, our last fall 
plant care tip of the day is you want to move your plants closer to the window if possible because like we've reiterated we want to get as much light as possible but be very careful that your plants are not touching the window especially if you get really cool air so if it's very cold and your plants are touching the window you could potentially get some cold damage on your leaves but getting it as close to the window where it's not going to catch a draft is going to also encourage that photosynthesis. So tip number one, make sure your windows are clean, your leaves are clean, and also getting those plants close to the window so that we can have happy growing plants who do not get stunted. That is false. If you care for your plants correctly, you can continue to have good growth all the way through the year. So that is that for today. If you have any tips or any comments, make sure you leave those down below. I will see you back tomorrow for some bathroom decorating and a continuation on our fall house care, house plant care tips. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and I will see you guys tomorrow.